Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, and also, thank you very much for giving the three case studies. Uh, my role is to uh, present or introduce a mechanism and then also structure of this uh, visionary SME program. Uh, just. What, what, what? Okay, so first of all, uh, we should define uh, what is visionary SME? Uh, what does it mean, visionary? Then, uh, traditional approach uh, when we see manufacturing, uh, most of the people are only focusing uh, productions, production area as a uh, manufacturing. Uh, but under the global uh, competitive situations, we need a, such a leaders who has more wider uh, perspective, not only the productions, but also uh, R&D, product design, and also after sales or supply chain, and also a change of the environment and change of the technologies, those areas. Uh, so those areas are we call big M big manufacturing. And then uh, those uh, who are only focusing production is a small M. Uh, that is our definitions. Uh, therefore, uh, we need such a leaders who have big M concept. And then those uh, who has the big M concept is called visionary leader. Uh, therefore, uh, VSME, that is a visionary SME, is to develop uh, SME leaders who has the big M concept. So, uh, and also one of the uniqueness of the VSME program is the uh, for tier one and then tier twos jointly working together to create tier relationship of win-win uh, and develop visionary SME. Uh, so tier one and then tier twos makes a one project. So assuming you are tier one companies, yes here. And then together with three to five tier twos, making one project. Uh, then in case uh, if the OEM, uh, your customers uh, will support this program, it is uh, happy. But without OEM supplier support, we can do. We can do it uh, within this project. And this is the organizational structures of the project. Hmm? There are three uniqueness. Uh, one is uh, you can see in these organizations, uh, tier one the CEO, CEO uh, taking the initiatives. And then under this uh, leadership, there are tier one's project and also tier two's project. Second uniqueness is uh, if you see those people, uh, those are uh, the senior leaders, uh, senior managers in tier one's and also tier two's. Uh, so approximately uh, six to eight members in tier one's and then two two members from each tier twos, and then plus one uh, full-time coordinators. Uh, this member will organize the one project. Uh, then third uniqueness is uh, uh, we need at least few people who graduate the senior manager's course of BRM. Uh, uh, do you remember the Anand case? Anand, they have already uh, more than 50 eh, uh, graduates from Opportunity A. Uh, so those people are input to this project. And then work together with uh, tier twos. Unfortunately, most of the tier twos, owners and the plant head, has uh, 
no opportunities to so far, no opportunities for joining opportunity A. And therefore, we need such a person who has already have some basic understanding and then skills to, uh, for the big M concept. Uh, therefore, uh, tier one's managers uh, will have this role. Uh, then, uh, through the three case studies, uh, you can get the, some result, uh, uniqueness of result of these uh, uh, last three years. Uh, let me just summarize. Uh, the first is a delivery performance. Uh, delivery performance, you can see the delivery from tier one to OEM and then delivery from tier two to tier ones, uh, almost 100%. That means there is no delay in delivery of timing and then quantity from tier two to tier ones as well as uh, from tier one to OEM. Uh, Second is uh, productivity. Both of tier one and then two, tier twos, uh, this is uh, examples of the last batch. Uh, average is two times of productivity improvement. Uh, some of the companies that uh, uh, Harita said, they achieved more than four times of productivity. Then reductions of inventory. Also, uh, drastic redu reductions of inventory has achieved. And also, uh, business growth, uh, especially for tier twos. Uh, uh, some of the tier twos has achieved uh, more than uh, 1.5 times of business growth within one year. Uh, so uh, you may have the, such a question that why such a remarkable result within one year? Eh? What is a secret? So there are three uh, breakthrough approaches in this visionary SME to create new tier relationship. There are three. One is a do and then demonstrate that the Haritas uh, said already. And then second is a focus on flow. Third one is a system approach. So I will explain one by one. The traditional approach, when you, for example, train the tier twos or suppliers, or suppliers training programs, uh, there are kind of a hierarchies. Tier one always first, tier one set a target. Uh, then uh, to give the uh, instructions to tier twos, and then to check, and then to push them uh, to follow. Uh, then many cases it will be failed. Then visionary SME way is a uh, tier ones change fast. Uh, tier one implement fast, then do and then demonstrate in tier two's place. Uh, so the members of tier ones uh, visit to the tier two's place and then to do and then demonstrate. And then working together with a member of tier twos. Uh, so tier twos will have some self-learning processes. Uh, so this is a one of the uniqueness to sustain uh, their activities. Uh, second uh, breakthrough is a focus on flow. Uh, traditional approach is a uh, so-called functional improvement, hmm? like a quality improvement, cost reductions, hmm, or a delivery improvement, or to focusing one process, uh, then apply the process improvement or Kaizen activities. Uh, our visionary SME way is to focus on flow, focus on flow across, uh, across the processes. So there are three reasons. One reason is that by focusing flow, the leaders will have more wider perspective. Uh, second is a, uh, by focusing flow, uh, you can they can control 
not only the process, but also flow. And then third one is that they can get the immediate result, immediate result to create the uh, win-win relations. The reason, one of the reasons why uh, there is no delay in delivery is that they focus the flow and then synchronize the flow of delivery and then productions. Third uniqueness is a system approach. Uh, traditional way is to focus individual SME. Uh, but when you see the flow, again, or supply chains, the uh, tier ones, tier ones will procure the material from different tier twos, and also one tier twos will supply to different tier ones. Mm. Uh, so uh, we need to apply some systematic approach to improve their flow and then also to improve their uh, performance and their efficiency. So uh, now I introduce how one year VSME course is organized, roadmap. So uh, we will spend tier one and then tier two will spend one year uh, for completing uh, one model. Uh, this is a details of the one module. First, Tier 1s learn new tools, so in the classroom. Uh, we will spend around two days. Then after that, they will implement at their model lines, one month. Then after one month, the CEO will make a review uh, for one day. Then after the CEO review, again, they will implement additional practice. So uh, roughly two months will be spent for one module. Then they, this will diffuse to uh, tier twos. So tier two will start one month behind the schedule. So tier two will Uh, exactly adopt the same approach or same practice. Uh, there is no difference in their tools and then techniques between tier one and tier twos. Uh, so they will also follow these processes. Uh, so roughly every two months, the one step by step, they will go. Uh, this is a, a planned schedule for one year uh, for batch four. Batch four is uh, starting from uh, August next month uh, until August uh, next year. Uh, we will start from CEO seminars. Uh, first, CEO need to understand, and then uh, maybe they need to also change their mindset first. Then we will start the co-op, so-called core co program. First is a mindset change of the project members, plant head, functional head. Then also uh, we can expect some quick result. Uh, I think you have already seen in their case studies that a uh, lot of space are created. And then those are uh, space creations are done within this uh, initial stage. So first, tier ones uh, implement, then to show and then demonstrate, uh, then tier two will also uh, follow this. Mm. Mm. So this uh, step is very important uh, because the uh, most of the tier twos uh, uh, at the beginning stage. Uh, they are not so, uh, say, uh, trust <laughs> this approach because there are so many training so far. Uh, uh, but after the new, 
quick result, quick visible result is a space. For example, creating space, reduce the distance travels. This is exactly linked to money, cash. Therefore, they will uh, say, understand that uh, uh, this new approach is, uh, will bring the, some benefits uh, for us. Then they can go. The next stage is a more scientific approach. Design the flow. Then spend two months. Then control flow. Control flow means stabilize the flow. Then they can get some uh, basic benefits like uh, delivery performance and then basic productivity improvement. So based on this uh, achievement, uh, they will create the tier relationship. After they are creating a tier relationship, they can go to the next stage for further improvement. So we will spend uh, almost one year to follow these uh, steps. So this is a, a tentative schedules for uh, batch four schedules. Uh, August, we will have the CEO seminars, and then September, we will have the module one. So until August next year, we will have 12 modules. Then you can see CEO reviews. These are, these are the direct involvement of CEO to take the leaderships to organize this project. Then after one year, the snowball, uh, I think you have already have the word of snowball. Snowball is a small area, small balls, because we only introduce the new uh, way for the one route or one model lines. But there are many other routes, many, many other lines. But uh, if there is no snowballs, we cannot expect next success. Therefore, for the success, we need a snowball. But on the other hand, this is a snowball. Uh, uh, if you leave the snowball, snowball will be melted down, disappeared. Uh, therefore, we need to sustain uh, this snowball to become big. So snowball is a starting time. Uh, then next up step is uh, to diffuse your snowball into your entire plant or to expand you are snowball to other plants. And then all of these uh, uh, participants of tier ones and tier two will organize community activities. This is our goal. Uh, then through the community activities, they will sustain uh, their uh, systems as well as their improvement activities. So maintain tier relationship of win-win is the basis of business growth and then profit for both customer and then suppliers. Therefore, what we have done is that to create a tier relationship of win-win. So far for the past uh, three years, uh, Total numbers participated into this uh, VSM program is a uh, tier one is uh, 128 participants. Number of company was 19. Then tier two 84 company brands. Then 160. So now total we have 288 visionary uh, leaders in these areas. Uh, but this is only for one year's VSME course. Uh, 
but each company is like, uh, especially for Anand, Anand has already started their own program to expand their uh, training to uh, SMEs. Uh, so uh, according to them, they are uh, developing 250, almost 250 SME. Uh, if they have two participants for each SME, there are number of participants or number of real change leader will become around 500. So in total, within the coming three years, uh, we are expecting to reach to 1,000 uh, SMEs or real change uh, visionary leaders in SME. So that is the name of the 1,000 BSME. Okay, thank you very much.